Today on Around with Arrows, Arrows teaches you how to make delicious macaroni and cheese, but guess what? She lost the footage for a couple steps. Bye! After you've cooked your pasta to the right pasta texture, just kind of like this stuff, I guess. Uh, then we're going to do a thing called straining. So we're going to take our col colander or strainer. I don't know the difference between them, and I don't know which one this is. We're going to use it and get that boiling water out of there so we can put our cheese sauce on it. Sauce balls. I'm now on Epic Meal Time. You should know it. And this is the healthier version, so just eat a whole box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's still better for you than what they normally make. Guys, now that you have strained your noodles, it is time to add in the other ingredients that make delicious mac and cheese. So, grab yourself a little knife. Cut off a hunk of butter uh -huh. and throw this bad boy into your mac and cheese. Ooh, yeah. Now here's the thing. Uh, the recipe calls for milk uh, and to be healthy they say use skim milk. Now the problem with Nicholas is he doesn't actually keep any kind of milk product in his house. Uh, in fact, the last time I came here, I bought heavy whipping cream, and that is the only kind of dairy that I'm finding in his fridge currently. So, we're going to use heavy whipping cream and bump up the caloric intake about 75%. Hey, hey. Just a little dash. A di oh, a dash of heavy whipping cream. Ooh, that's going to be good. So, now stir it all up. Uh, and think about how delicious it's going to be going into your mouth. Now what we're going to do is add our sausage cheese and then mix it all up. So this is where we're going to get our daily intake of artificial coloring, uh, chemicals that probably are horrible for us, um, you know, like the basic necessities of an American lifestyle. So get that all, get that all ready, rip that bad boy off. And pull, pull it in. And here we go, pouring it up. Oh, that cheese looks so realistic. Stir, 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 stir. I can't do this with one hand. And ta-da! We have made the college food staple. Woo! Mac and cheese, and you want? Next week on Arden Cooks Crappy College Food, I tackle ramen. I'm just kidding. Um, ramen's delicious, but mac and cheese is pretty much my 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 maid of honor. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything to say about mac and cheese, but I really love it. So I'm going to eat this, and then I will talk to you guys in a second. Bye! Guys, so I finished my macaroni and cheese a while back, and it was delicious, and now I'm editing uh, gaming videos currently, we are, me and Nicholas, hi Nicholas, hi, we're trying to decide where to go to dinner, we're gonna go out to dinner, and we'll see you guys in a little while, bye! Hey guys, so we just finished dinner at Freebirds, it was delicious, although I got full really fast and they gave me the wrong size of burrito, and now my stomach feels very full. Anyways, we're about to get attacked by a, a flock of birds, you guys can't really see the full scale, but there are literally birds everywhere. Everywhere. It's like that one movie that I'm still I'm trying to figure out what it is, who it's by. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Yes, Alfred Hitchcock. The birds. We're about to get attacked. Anyways, we both got watches from Target. Okay, uh, my watch, Nicholas has his. Show it off, please, to the camera. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. We have matching watches. We do. They're the Timex Weekenders. Yay. Because Nicholas broke his watch in an unfortunate event. And so we're getting him a replacement watch for a little while. Hey guys, so I am so, so, so excited because guess what came in the mail today? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. El Gato! Ooh yeah! So basically this little puppy guarantees that I can now play console games for you guys. So all of you guys asking on Arrow's games to play Beyond Two Souls and The Last of Us, all those fun games, I will be playing those. Nicholas and I are actually going to play co-op Beyond Two Souls, so Narden is going to take over the gaming industry, people. Ugh, we have the grossest couple name, but no one sounds good with me. Sarden, Narden, Larden, nothing ever sounds good with Arden. What can you do? Can we have it rose? Nose? 
<laughs> nope, that's not a good one. So I'm just watching Toby Turner right now because I discovered Griffin, his dog, and now I cannot stop watching it. Oh my God, I love Griffin. Um, and I just edited a video that is currently going up, which is, what is it, what is it? A what's in my bag video. Uh, but it's gonna be a what's in my travel makeup kit. Other than that, we're just hanging out. Nicholas has classes all day, so I have been trying to work, get some stuff done. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been uploading a lot more frequently recently, just because I want to have more consistent viewership. I wanna be able to give you guys a lot of stuff to look at, not just an occasional video every now and then. So as far as vlogs go, I'm trying to do upwards of five vlogs a week on my Round with A Rose channel. I'm trying to do A Rose games twice a day, which is Actually a lot harder than you would think it is because I import all of my footage for my gaming stuff into iMovie and Final Cut Pro and when you edit it all through it takes forever to render because it's like 45 minutes of footage that you have and then you're going through and, and editing all of it so it's just it's a long process but it's totally worth it. Um, other than that I'm just trying to be consistent. A-Rose 186 should have more than one video up every week. I'm trying to keep it like that, have at least one video, if not more than one. Um, so I'm kind of brainstorming what I want to do. Sorry, I'm looking at my channel right now. I'm brainstorming what I want to do on A-Rose 186 this week. I'm thinking potentially um, some sort of like pumpkin carving thing with Nicholas. I thought that would be fun. So we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'll let you guys go. I'm sorry, I'm like being so rambly, but I'm just, I feel talkative because no one's home. You, of course. Also, I'm glad everyone really liked the picture of Lauren at the end of my video. I don't think she knows about it yet, or if she does, because I don't think she watches my vlogs, but if she does, she's gonna laugh. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Bye! And here's our daily Nicholas, because guess what? Ellie is not here with us. I miss her dearly, but that little cone head is at home. So here is Nicholas dancing. Hey, Nicholas. What you dancing to? Hey! <laughs>